Hello, today I'm here to present our latest Kai paper, Mouse Ring, always available touchpad interaction with IMU rings. My name is Xu Yuan Shen, and I'm from the Pervasive Human Computer Interaction Lab at Tsinghua University. The co author of this paper are Professor Chun Yu, Xu Tong Wang, Chen Liang, Hao Zhan Chen, and Professor Yuan Chun Shi. Now let's get started. We are all aware that target selection has long been a fundamental task in human-computer interaction. Traditional methods such as the mouse and touchpad have gained widespread acceptance due to their intuitive design, efficiency, and precision. However, the emergence of ubiquitous computing devices like AR, VR, and large screen displays has created a need for input solutions that are always available. While touchpads, remote controllers, and computer vision-based finger-pointing techniques are available, their complex setup and substantial computational power requirements can sometimes limit their constant accessibility. On one hand, we believe that an ideal, always available input technique should optimize the device's form factor to enhance its portability and availability at all times. On the other hand, we also aspire for it to retain the intuitiveness, efficiency, and comfort of touchpad interactions. Therefore, our proposed solution is variable IMU rings. We believe that this could potentially serve as an always available virtual touch interface. So, we propose mouse ring, a novel ring-shaped IMU device that enables continuous finger sliding on any unmodified physical surfaces, much like a touchpad. Now, let me briefly introduce how mouse ring is worn and how it works. First, the user can choose either to wear one or two ring devices, each containing an inertia acceleration sensor on the proximal and middle phalanges of the index finger. While a dual ring configuration is more precise, a single ring configuration can offer a more comfortable wearing experience. The basic working principle of mouse ring is to predict finger movements by observing the accelerations and angular accelerations of the skeletal region where the rings are worn, and then establishing a relationship with the corresponding fingertip movements. Therefore, the interaction method we finally decided on requires users to rest their carpus on a flat surface during finger sliding interactions. Compared to having the whole hand suspended in the air, this interaction mode sacrifices a bit of hand freedom but provides more valuable angular velocity information. This slide presents a video demonstration of mouse ring in action. As you can see, the user is wearing two rings on the index finger. The IMU sensors in the ring sense finger movements in real time, and with the help of our algorithm, which I will delve into later, our interaction system accurately tracks the trajectories of the fingertip movements. Moreover, we've incorporated a touch state detection algorithm that acts as a switch for cursor movement. Ultimately, mouse ring enables always available touchpad interaction. As demonstrated, the user is controlling the cursor on the screen to draw lines and the figure 8. Before I delve into the technical implementation for mouse ring, let's take a brief look back at previous work on ring interactions for fingertip tracking. Several projects have been undertaken to realize pointing input with finger-shaped devices. For example, Phoenix's and our ring utilize multiple electromagnetic sensors to position the fingertip relative to the wrist nodes, thereby supporting in-air pointing for target selection. Light Rain first proposed using an IMU to estimate lateral finger movements and an infrared sensor to perceive finger bending to estimate forward and backward movements. While some of these projects can achieve high precision, they often require the assistance of additional devices, such as smartwatch that emit signals or large sensors like an infrared emitter. These setups limit the obvious availability. On the other hand, ring interaction work using IMU sensors like Anywhere Touch uses the attitude angle changes of the fingertip IMU to estimate the speed of each finger joint, but this approach is far from precise. Therefore, 
The usability goal of MouseRing is to enable efficient and accurate input on diverse surfaces while ensuring comfort and convenience through its obvious available nature. After demonstrating MouseRing and discussing related work, I will now explain how the MouseRing algorithm works. To enable continuous cursor control, the objective of the MouseRing algorithm is straightforward. It aims to predict the real-time movement speed of the index fingertip through IMU sensing. We can employ a simple approach that predicts the real-time velocity of the fingertip, accumulates these velocities, and finally updates the sliding trajectory in real-time. So, an intuitive idea, therefore, is to use an end-to-end -end machine learning method. We input the IMU sensor data into a neural network, and the model directly outputs prediction about fingertip movements. However, due to the high frequency noise inherent in IMU sensors, instantaneous speed predictions can be unstable, which would prevent mouse ring from providing a robust interaction experience. So in this framework, the neural network merely learns from the collected sensor data. We know that the biological structure of the human hand dictates that it follows certain physical laws during movement. Therefore, another approach to predicting finger movement is to model the hand as a chain of joints in motion. We regard the sensor and the contact points of the fingers as points in a kinetic chain. Then we can estimate their movement through attitude angle estimation and inverse kinematics. As shown in the top right diagram, we estimate the movement of the fingertip represented by the green points using the sensor represented by the red point. In this framework, the algorithm uses a prior knowledge that humans have summarized and modeled, but it doesn't learn from the distribution of a large amount of sensor data, leading to systematic errors due to insufficient modeling. We believe that machine learning and physical modeling can be integrated. Finger motion patterns during finger sliding and the inherent structure of joints can provide beneficial physical knowledge. This led us to enhance motion perception accuracy by integrating physical priors into machine learning models. The image below introduces the algorithm pipeline of mousering. We use the orientation of the IMUs worn on the intermediate and proximal phalanx of the index finger to represent the spatial orientation of the two finger phalanxes. We then estimate each bone's attitude by processing the continuously read acceleration and angular acceleration data streams. Next, we train an RNN-based model to learn from features such as finger skeleton attitudes and ring accelerations and to predict fingertip velocity. However, black box probabilistic models suffer from unstable predictions and poor interpretability. Therefore, we establish several physical constraints based on the attitudes and velocity, judge the degree of compliance between the predicted instantaneous velocities and physical constraints, and finally correct the velocity. In addition, we also implement touch state detection and cursor smoothing to achieve a complete mouse-like target selection interaction experience. Next, I will delve into how physical constraints are established and how they are combined with machine learning algorithms to improve the predictive accuracy of mouse ring. Firstly, we collected a dataset on the movement of the index finger on the touchpad with IMU rings, touchpad, and OptiTrack. Not only did we record the touchpad's touch positions and raw data from the IMU ring, but we also utilized an array of OptiTrack cameras with markers attached to the finger joints to capture data on various finger joint movements. Then, we employed a data-driven hypothesis testing approach and established several motion constraints between different key joints of the finger. To illustrate, I have provided a simple example in the middle diagram. We observe that the fingertip, the palm bone joints, middle joints, and distal joints of the index finger lie on the same plane. During the actual implementation of the algorithm, we formalize these physical constraints mathematically. For instance, the formula within the red box on the right represents a coplanar relationship. 
our attitude estimation algorithm and machine learning algorithm calculate and predict the postures and velocities of various key points respectively. Through these mathematical formulas, we verify whether the corresponding physical constraints are met. If the compliance with the physical constraints is low, the confidence score obtained will be minimal, and the velocity prediction for that frame will be mostly filled out. Consequently, Mouserin's algorithm can produce more robust and accurate results. Utilizing the dataset for offline simulation, we conducted a comparative analysis of different model configurations, ring numbers, and sliding modes. In a purely kinematic-based baseline model, the tracking error is significant. End-to-end -end models show acceptable performance. By incorporating physical constraints, the results become more stable and accurate. The dual mouse ring demonstrates precise selection of small targets, showcasing a mean angular error of 6.6 .6 degrees, while the single mouse ring exhibits a mean angular error of 12.3 degrees with its lighter setup. We also assessed the input efficiency of mouse ring in both controlled laboratory settings and real-world scenarios. In a fifth law study, we utilized the touchpad and the existing always available pointing device Air Mouse as the baseline. The dual mouse ring achieved input efficiency comparable to laptop touchpads and significantly outperformed the Air Mouse. In a real world large screen interaction task, we conducted tests to evaluate the performance of mouse ring on surfaces such as the thigh, desk, wall, and sofa where participants adopted both sitting and standing postures. Both single and dual mouse ring demonstrated robust and quick 2D cursor control on surfaces with varying hardness and flatness, regardless of the sitting and standing posture. The input efficiency was comparable to that of interacting while seated at a desk. However, interaction on a thigh proved notably slower than on a desk, primarily due to irregularities caused by clothing wrinkles and the inherent curvature of leg muscles. When compared to other input methods, mouse ring's input speed resembles that of traditional mouse devices and significantly surpasses air mouse, which operate within the same in-air interaction paradigm as virtual hand tracking and remote controllers. Participants expressed their preference for the natural feeling of the interaction with mouse ring and found wearing it to be more comfortable than using handheld devices. We have also implemented a range of interactions to highlight mouse ring's always availability. In scenarios involving visual occlusion and mobile interactions, mouse ring felicitates users manipulating GUI in VR environments. We have implemented a VR video player. It utilizes touchpad interactions supported by mouse ring to enable convenient cursor control in VR for button selections. In conference and smart home scenarios, mouse ring serves as a substitute for remote controllers and air mouse to control projectors, smart TVs, and large screen displays efficiently. In mobile or sports scenarios, we designed fast slider to support sending shortcut commands by sliding in different directions on any surfaces. We have implemented remote control functionality for a fitness video app. That concludes our presentation, and thank you for your attention. We propose Mouse Ring, a novel ring-shaped IMU device that enables continuous finger sliding on any unmodified physical surface. For more details, please refer to our paper.